So try this problem first, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so the NH uh, right here, right? The H is actually H minus, so that means it's a hydride. And what hydrides like to do is steal other hydrogens. So this hydride comes by and steals this hydrogen, and then gives the electrons to the oxygen. So therefore, the, the hydride will come by, steal the hydrogen, give it to the oxygen, and now the oxygen has a negative charge. And the second part is CH3I, right? CH3I. So the negative charge will attack this spot right here, and then the electrons here in this bond will go to the iodine. And your final product will just look like this. It will have a wedge on the oxygen and then the CH3, right? Because it has to have the CH3 right here. Notice how even though it was um, a nucleophile attack, that the that the uh, the wedge, the the stereochemistry actually didn't change, right? So that's actually interesting. There was no inversion because even though it attacked uh, this CH3 right here, this itself did not change. Now, if there's stereochemistry on the electrophile, then it would change. But since um, since the nucleophile has stereochemistry, the nucleophile stereochemistry does not change. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing problems. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.